Severus was drawn and very paranoid after destroying something with you. This could be a bond, a friendship, or even a connection, some type of collaboration that was supposed to take place. Something that was supposed to be long term definitely became short term. Um, so something is definitely stagnated here, especially when it comes to your emotions with a situation. You feel like something will never change or something will always be the same. I feel someone thought that you would be tight-lipped about something, but you're not that cold. Hmm. This is an antisocial energy. This could be your energy or someone else's, but someone is feeling restricted when it comes to you. They're hyper-focused on something that is keeping something broken instead of fixing something with you. I feel in so many ways this is someone who is just lacking ideas. This is someone who wants to come your way or overcome some obstacles to create some type of success with you, but they also feel like they've gone too far to come back now. Hangman energy. This is someone who is feeling trapped and limited, self-limiting energy of someone who feels like they caused an ending with you. For many of you, this is someone who has a lot of late nights about it. Restless energy of someone who has a lot of terror. Energy of someone who has negative deep thoughts. Mm. Deep thoughts about how they treated you and possibly how something ended with you. This could be within a partnership, a collaboration, teamwork, where someone regrets taking an offer or someone regrets not being fair with you. Here would be wow, four cups. Mm. Someone definitely missed an opportunity. Someone missed an opportunity doing negative things towards you. This is an ongoing battle of conflict, argument, quarrels, disagreements, struggles, where someone is making something harder than it needs to be. This is an ongoing battle here. Nine of Wands energy, as well as the Ten of Wands energy. This has definitely been an ongoing battle where you have stood your ground, but you have also struggled and taken and taken losses and sacrifice. Mm. You are definitely exhausted and fatigued, ready for something to end, but someone is still not speaking up or s stepping up. Someone appeals their power and now they're trying to find the strength to change or speak up bring justice to a situation where they're still going through consequences. Mm. Someone's definitely at an impasse here. There's, this is a decision that needs to be made where someone is still struggling to create some type of balance here with the Two of Pentacles. I feel someone was definitely trying to get away with something strategically. In fact, someone thought they got away with something. Someone thought they got away with something because you were not speaking out. I feel due to your silence, someone thought that that was a weakness or you were dumb to something. But I feel you were only allowing someone enough space and opportunity to see how far they would go. Now someone could be at a crucial impasse when it comes to laying something to rest. This is someone who is looking for the strength but also needing spiritual grounding. Someone needs to be more mature about a situation with where there's tradition involved, respect, loyalty, values. But doing something strategically put this person in a space where they wanted time to heal your wounds or in time they thought that you would reach out or get over something, but something has yet to change. Let's get some more energy here. Someone knows that you are a giver. You are always a giver in this situation, but as I said before in the reading, someone abused that power. Someone took advantage of your generosity. I feel like this is someone who is very emotionally immature, or they did something from a very petty space when it comes to you, especially seeing as though you've been very resilient, where someone was trying to be a burden. Hmm. You're dumping out the old and bringing in the new. I feel you're wanting to let go of some people, possessions, or even some problems where you know you've been overly generous or you tried to compromise, but someone was just not being generous with you. 
like someone's just not wanting to close out a cycle. Someone's just not mature enough to level up to your energy. Yeah, this is someone who is needing to find the strength here with the strength card, as well as the Queen of Wands in the reverse. I feel this is someone who didn't make the right choices when it comes to giving the right energy towards you or the connection. But now that they see you as some type of gift, they're in regret for creating some toxic ways or this battle. This ongoing situation where many of you feel it would never end. As I said before, someone is deep in deep regret. You made an offer or you tried to compromise, whether it's conflict, arguments, quarrels, disagreements. Five of Wands energy is letting me know this is someone who tried to put you in your place or this energy wanted you to follow their lead, but many of you just didn't take the bait many of you didn't go with the flow and this is why someone was trying to put you in a position where you felt obligated but because of their insecurities here this energy was rude this energy became a dictator a bully this energy be became something that you didn't see before this energy created a lot of heartbreak betrayal there's a separation here, heartbreak. I feel there's a separation where someone disrespected a lover situation, a connection, a collaboration where something should have been long term. Now there's disharmony, grief, despair. Many of you just want your peace. You want a clear way out of something where someone is creating mayhem due to their own mental stress and for some of you, mental issues. I feel there's a lot of deception and secrets that keep this energy in a sense of loss, a guilty conscience, where they're starting to come into a state of remorse. Hmm. Wow. Someone has remorse about you. They think about you all the time here with the Five of Cups. They think about how you didn't deserve something, but... This energy didn't stay clear of causing chaos, destruction here with the tower moment, this tower energy. This could be in a family affair or even a friendship or close bond, but I feel someone failed. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who fell from grace put you at a disadvantage. There's big changes when it comes to someone losing opportunity with you. That someone didn't seize a moment. Now there's a lack of success here with the world card in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Someone created a lot of change here. Knight of Swords energy. Someone was moving quickly when they did it. They created a lot of bad luck for themselves as well as those surrounding them. This is someone who has a lack of control and is also in bondage in some type of way. In bondage due to their failures or disadvantages. How they became a disgrace. Mm -hmm. Now this energy is wanting to travel back or backtrack when it comes to something they feel is a misunderstanding. Someone knows they need to be honest with you. Here, Queen of Swords energy. Someone knows that you are very independent, very protective. This is someone who also knows that you are very good communicator when you want to be, but when you're upset, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> I feel like this is someone who knows that you can be very mature about a situation, but I feel talking in circles would only lead to a dead end with you. Chariot energy, someone wants to let go of something, someone wants to overcome an obstacle, they want to come your way, but they're still trying to release some type of control, find some self-discipline to come your way. Someone feels like you no longer feel the same, it's unrequited, the energy is lost you're over it you're through all because you don't see an ending when it comes to someone's harsh behaviors someone's negative energies and many of you have had to have a strength to break free or find some type of peace when you're dealing with an ongoing situation when you believe there is no end I feel like this is someone who is definitely limiting themselves when it comes to you. You are definitely a gift and a blessing to many that you meet. But 
I feel this is someone who definitely took something for granted when it comes to your energy. But due to the fact that they are emotionally immature, this is someone who just was not able to cope, not able to deal, not able to rise above the petty shit. Someone abused their power and they played with them. They played some games that they cannot undo. Someone cannot lay with something to rest. They're looking to do better and be better, but they're not having the tools to do so. They're still holding on to some things from the past. They're juggling their happiness. And this is what's causing the big changes in their life, the heartbreak, the disillusion their conflict with you. For many of you, this is someone who is having a lot of problems behind the scenes that are not even connected to you, but they're lashing out at you. They've become a bully to you. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is juggling a lot in their life and because they are not able to lay something to rest, they are causing misery for others because they are miserable. I feel this is someone who is completely miserable and causing miserable misery for others because they can't understand their own truth. There's too much bad luck. Too much bad luck due to failure and disadvantage that they have caused in their life. Wow. Wow. For many of you, there's a lot of bad luck that is circulating. But I feel there is also communication. This is someone who wants to come out of this unhappy moment, this unhappy family, this mess that they have created. Someone is expecting to have some big changes, but they're dealing with some things mentally, emotionally, financially. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is going through some financial difficulties, some negative changes that are causing them to look at things in a different way. Someone is definitely struggling when it comes to being judged by others. They're also being judged by the Most High, and that is the biggest judgment of all. This is why things are delayed. Someone is growing. Someone is finding a new way. Finding a new way to communicate, Page of Swords. Someone didn't expect you to stand up for yourself. Mm. Someone didn't expect you to stand up for yourself in a situation. Someone didn't see you fighting for your corner, your space, your energy, your light, your stability, your family. Mm. I feel you're a different type of beast when you've been challenged. I feel someone didn't see you distancing yourself, going into karma waters to heal or find some type of resolution within a situation where obviously they missed an opportunity here with the ace of wands but i feel you going into karma waters cause this energy to find a sense of balance here with the two of pentacles also here with the temperance cards then pouring into self trying to figure out why they're spewing so much hate because it's not just with you there's other people that are getting the brunt of it and i feel when they're not lashing out at you they're lashing out at other people as well but i feel someone didn't expect you to stand up for yourself you being silent or you being distance is definitely putting someone in a space where they're being called out someone is wanting to have a new beginning someone is wanting to create some type of resolution and they're looking for the path to do that i feel there's two ways that this can go and i feel either way you're going to come out on top i feel something will come to fruition here hmm. Something's going to come for, to fruition here with the Seven of Pentacles, where there will be a peaceful resolution. If this was in the upright, there will be a war still going on, where someone is still making sacrifices and still not surrendering, still trying to put up some type of battle with you. I feel in the reverse, this is someone who is just wanting to communicate, compromise, and move on from this harsh ending. Someone is wanting to make peace with you. This is their wish fulfillment, but someone is not knowing how to break the mold, get you to let your guard down. They're feeling trapped, confined. For many of you, you also feel your hands are tied when it comes to this energy who seems to be very low vibrational, but someone is getting a reality check when it comes to this ongoing battle here with the Five of Wands energy. I feel someone is going through a lot of 
Acts, grief, loss, and despair behind the scenes, which keeps them low vibrational. And for many of you, you're wondering why they're always lashing out at you. It's because they're not happy. They're not happy in their own life, and there's just nothing you can do about that. But just try to get through this struggle that this energy has created. For many of you, you have done so. You have survived something that many have yet to survive. There's energies circling this person hmm, that are still stuck in an illusion, stuck in a space of not being honest, but I feel there's a lot of mental issues circling that situation where there's a lot of tower moments, chaos, destruction, tragedy, loss, and betrayal. I also feel there's a lot of sacrifice due to someone's regrets. Someone knows they missed an opportunity to truly make amends with you or create a true bond with you, but something didn't go as expected. Someone can't low, come out of this low vibration, even meet you halfway. They regret that now. They were, were too insecure to change. But had they not abused their powers, something could have been abundant with you. You could have been a great friend, a true confidant, a true blessing. But someone put themselves in a position to lose it. Let's get a final card here from this tarot deck, Holy Spirit. I'm going to jump into some oracle energy here for more comfort, confirmation, more energy. Find a message. So, as I said before, you guys, someone definitely wants to collaborate with you again. Someone wants to reunite, socialize with you again. Someone wants to celebrate. Someone wants to come together. Someone wants to be part of the team. Someone wants to uplift a situation or be more uplifting. Instead of the problem, someone wants to be a solution. Let's jump into an oracle deck here. So it definitely seems to me there's energies here who are communicating, trying to figure out a solution or trying to figure out who's to blame, but someone needs to stop pointing fingers and be accountable to lead away or to be accountable or to help others lighten a burden or even see their part in a situation. I feel there are cycles here where there is opportunity to be successful, but someone feels like you are doing better by yourself or doing what's best for you, that you won't see an offer as some type of opportunity, as it seems they have left you out in the cold for so long. But someone is wanting to create some type of balance with you, a mutual exchange, but they feel like you're too busy doing your own thing. They regret leaving you out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy. Someone is wanting to do something, but I feel it's going to be in due time. Hangman energy here is letting me know something is in transition. Judgment is awakening. Someone is trying to tame their inner demons. Someone is trying to put something in the past when it comes to their broken past, their broken heart. Something needs to be laid to rest. As it seems, this energy is wanting to bury the hatchet or bury the past, communicate. Someone is wanting to communicate with you after a tower moment, but they're waiting for the dust to settle. Hmm. Someone is waiting for the dust to settle to be brutally honest with you. Someone feels like they can't catch you in a moment where you're in your emotions or in your feelings. You'll never hear them out. So they're waiting for the dust to settle. But I feel they just allow too much time to pass. For many of you, you just don't see this person in the same light. They had so much time to reconcile, make something right, but this energy just took the coward's way out, thinking they had too many people to back them up or co-sign their bad behaviors. But there's a deep regret for deceiving you or leaving you out. Seven of Swords, 
Five of Pentacles. Someone regrets the Tower moment as well because they feel like they can't pick up the pieces. Now they're going to have to be brutally honest when it comes to communication. King of Wands, Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. Someone is definitely knowing they're needing to find the strength to be transparent with you. Because they do want this mutual exchange, Six of Pentacles. But I feel due to the Eight of Swords, someone is feeling trapped by doubt. They feel like they're going to have to be mindful of their, their words, their energy when it comes to you. Because they know that you're going to assist their energy, their past, their emotions. For many of you, you're looking for the energy here. You know that energy never lies. And I feel you're counting on that. You're wanting to see how this energy is going to pull up to you. How they're going to try to communicate to you. Is this energy is going to still be in the position to want to play Spain? Or they're going to be accountable. But I feel this energy is definitely going to shock you in some type of way. However, I do feel due to all their losses, stresses, and pain, this energy feels the worst just isn't over. Ten of Swords. This energy has been in an ongoing battle as well, but I feel not just with you, but with self. This is someone who has some intrusive thoughts here with the Nine of Swords energy. This is why they have yet to accomplish any type of mental clarity. This is why there is mental issues for someone who is needing to find a peaceful phase in life when it comes to their roots, family tree, kinship, three of cups. A peaceful phase when it comes to a friendship, a collaboration, a close connection. Hmm. Someone is wanting to remove obstacles and release something. Lay their roots down. But to go into this new phase, someone is going to have to stop pretending that they haven't been a fool. Someone has allowed a lot of time to pass, thinking something would just be temporary to a swords, but it's not. Something is bigger than them. Something is bigger than them. Something is bigger than the emotion that they're feeling, as well as the manipulation and the disrespect that they spill. Now someone is needing to balance something out. Balance something out to really resurrect themselves and find the truth. To finally lay something to rest. Someone is eager to lay something to rest when it comes to their energy, their spirit, their light. Let's get some energy here. As, as I said before, there's some communication, there's some talk going on around your energy, concerning your energy. And someone wants it their wishes to be granted. So there's wishing well energy here where someone knows they're going to have to be brutally honest with themselves to be brutally honest with you. King of Cups energy. This is someone who is emotionally imbalanced. Wow. And they're not very reliable as well. As I said before, someone is wanting to communicate to lighten their load. But they're being somewhat strategic. Just to be courageous. As I said before, this is someone who feels like they need to find the strength within a situation. To have a fresh start. Fresh start in life. Faith. A spiritual awakening. They're needing to be brutally honest to lay the past to rest. And someone is realizing your unconditional love. Empress energy is truly missed. There's communication circling about. Hmm. I feel someone is communicating about you to lighten a burden, lighten a load. Someone is venting about you. This is someone who walked away from you and now they're wanting to replot their course. This is someone who got lost, who is now wanting to communicate an unspoken truth. This is someone who is wanting to cut through the bullshit. This is someone who is wanting to cut through the fog. Hmm. Let something go. But they're also feeling self-imposed. Bound. To something that is uncertain. This is someone who is still on, a, on the fence. About a missed opportunity. Push and pull energy. So someone is definitely on the fence about. Coming back. Speaking up. 
doing something with their whole heart because they know there's a push and pull dynamic between the two of you that's been going on for so long they just don't know how you're going to feel if they're coming in with this new energy hmm. they're under pressure I feel this is someone who is under pressure when it comes to a lot of things. They're on the fence about moving forward, letting go of this baggage to explore better things, do better, be better. But I also feel they're coming to some obstacles, roadblocks and changes. And I can truly I can truly sense this is someone who is really trying to find the exit. Find the exit when it comes to the misery that they feel and the misery that they bring. Someone is tired of placing blame. Someone is ready to be accountable. Someone is wanting to bring solutions to a road that has been closed for so long. But they're not sure if you're going to be compassionate about it, Queen of Cups. For many of you, someone knows that you have always been compassionate, always compromising. They feel like you're no longer in that energy while you're in the four swords of taking care of yourself. Hmm. Everything seems to be coming up roses for you, even if you're in a struggle or things are not coming up the way that you thought things would be. But something is coming out in a way that you didn't expect it something is about to find a sense of closure someone is talking about how to resolve something how to humble themselves to come towards you wow. someone's trying to figure out how to shine while things is definitely ablaze this is someone who's wanting to bring good news someone knows that you know your worth and you know that your energy would be missed. Now someone is wanting to resurrect something with you, but they're also realizing there's a lot of skeletons in the closet. Someone knows there's a lot of skeletons that can no longer be avoided or swept under the rug, but there's also a sense of shame, doubt that has them hesitant when it comes to replotting their course. This is someone who is trying to tame their thoughts. They're trying to tame their energy to lighten the load and go through this purposeful or necessary transformation, but they also feel something can never be healed because they couldn't stay true. Um, I wanna get some more energy here. So as I said before, there's a lot of communication going on when it comes to your energy. I feel like there's energy he's talking about you in an effort to gain a sense of understanding or even a resolution as it seems a situation or something that didn't seem it would ever work out. It just might work out. I feel like something just might surprise you. Someone is wanting to accomplish something with you, and whether they have accomplished that or not, something is still going to work its way through. Hmm. Because someone finally gets it. Someone is having a light bulb moment. Someone is having a light bulb moment when it comes to you. Some type of online drama or something that was exposed to other people not just you i feel this is someone who had a lot of mixed signals about you where they wanted your attention but they partially pushed you away now someone is wanting to resurrect something someone is wanting to reboot something with you and they have a lot of remorse regret because they can't take away what time has allowed to pass mm. there's so many memories so many opportunities just because they were trying to cover something up trying to prevent something from coming out someone was misinformed or, or was misinforming others about you not keeping something real and they're paranoid about you finding out their motives you finding out what 
is hidden when it comes to family, friends, trying to keep something apart, the destruction that was caused when it comes to someone who thought they were headed to the pot of gold. I feel someone sold you out and they got nothing for it. Now they're curious, nervous when it comes to what they lost with you. This is someone who is wanting to rebuild. They could be preparing. Preparing a message, preparing to just pop up, but someone is just in a space where they're wanting to make a real big impact when it comes to you. However, even though this energy is preparing, they're still unsure when it comes to communication, speaking up, speaking out, because someone wasn't in the present. Hmm. They feel like there's not an open door. Someone is definitely down in the thumbs in their head about something. They feel like they can't pop up the way they used to. They regret not giving in to you. Someone regrets. Stop talking to you. Hmm. They feel like that's that was their biggest regret when they stopped talking to you. Hmm. This is someone who is sitting in a space where they regret being misinformed or spreading some type of misunderstanding or misdoubt about you. Someone regrets trying to have it their way. However, I do feel you have taught this energy something. Something that they were not expecting to understand or even realize. Let's get some more energy here. Confirmation. Down in the cops. Someone knows they lost a lot when they lost you. In so many ways. Because they're nervous. Someone's nervous. Thinking. Contemplating. Down in the dumps about their future. Now that they realize or feel you just might not be in it. There's a lot of remorse after there's a sense of silence. Someone is definitely in their head when it comes to you. Someone knows that the choices they made were not coming from the heart. Someone knows that out of everyone they know, you're the, you're the one who understands. You're the key. You're the one they should have talked to. But now that something is broken or there's some type of misunderstanding, someone regrets not being reasonable, only seeing things their way, something failed to launch because something wasn't going their way. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is always testing the waters or testing your energy in some type of way. This is someone who is coming out as the great pretender for a moment. They almost had you fooled, but I feel this is someone who got away with nothing. I feel for many of you, this is someone who created a random situation with a random person who caused a conspiracy. This could also be through friends or family, but now they're questioning everything. Hmm. They regret putting more people into this situation to continue their games or to continue a plot because they risked everything in doing so. Now they regret putting you in a space where you're content or not even bothered. Hmm. Someone took a risk on a situation that has multiple factors to a situation where they're not picking something up. They're not understanding something and this is why there's slow progression. There's a lot to this story that you don't know, and this is why someone is being inconsistent with you. They're still trying to test something out. They're in the early stages of figuring it out. This is someone who is about to bring in some unexpected energy because they're about to resurface. Someone's about to resurface with some different type of energy, whether that is through remorse or desperation, someone is definitely coming your way. There's GPS energy here of someone trying to locate you or this energy is in the space where they're trying to track or gauge your energy, but whatever the case, someone's moving, relocating, pushing forward. After flip-flopping on you, changing, switching up on you, they're wanting to now make an impact. Someone's wanting to make an impact and finally keep it real with you. After overindulging or putting up some type of half truth, someone is wondering if there's still an open door for them. In so many ways, it's almost like this energy is waiting on you. 
waiting on you to make a move. They feel like they disrespected you in so many ways. They, they could never just come back and, you know, pick things up where they left off. They feel like they're just going to have to do more than apologize, and that is rightfully so. This is someone who failed to launch, and now they have a sense of remorse for being unreasonable. Now they're about to do something unexpected, even if that's just showing up at your doorstep after being flaky, unreliable, inconsistent. Someone is about to keep it real for you for once. Well, keep it real with you for once. <laughs> wow. One more card. So, it seems someone's about to be real with you when it comes to their hidden motives, when it comes to friends, family, or a situation that was keeping the two of you uh, at a distance, but they're nervous about it, they're contemplating, they're trying to put their words together, someone is trying to compromise or even compose their thoughts to even make sense of what has taken place or even what they've done to you. There's a lot of misinformation when it comes to this situation where someone is wanting or expecting to lighten their load because they're going through a lot of destruction, bad luck, turmoil, mayhem. And they're starting to feel like out of all the pain that they have caused you, they just won't be welcome. The Wheel of Fortune is coming out in the reverse and is letting me know this is someone who's taken a lot of sacrifices, yet they, they failed to change, thinking that somehow, some way, you would always need them before they needed you. Someone is realizing they need you more than ever. But things are just not the same. Hmm. I feel things are just not the same as I sense those who have made too many wrong turns with you are seeking ways to finally come clean or make things right with you. As they may be under pressure to shine some light on some dark situations. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is in the space of wanting to reveal something. Wanting to re reveal something that they never thought that they would be humble enough to acknowledge or put some type of truth to. But I feel after a lifetime of strategy and poking the bear, they now see that love, truth, and respect with you is the only way. I feel it's the only way to lighten the load, but I feel this is another reason why this person is nervous. This is someone who knows that you see the truth, and you're going to see right through the bullshit. And this is why they're trying to get their thoughts and their energy together. I feel this is someone who is an unconventional soul, an acquired taste, who is always on the run, ghosting, disappearing, avoiding a truth conversation, confrontation, someone who feels or wants to be a free spirit who truly admires you, they're mesmerized by you, which is somewhat ironic because that's not the energy that you feel when it comes to someone who has fallen victim to temptation, sins, and provoking the worst out of others, yet due to their sins, trials, and sacrifices, Someone's going to finally make things right with you. And whether that ends in the both of you coming together or not, there will be big changes coming through. Someone knows they feel victim to sin and they did a lot of things to you that they still don't understand. But due to the fact that they are very unconventional, many of you have found a way or will find a way to understand. Especially when it comes to the energy they bring where someone is trying to master self, rise above the bullshit. But I feel it's up to them if something is finally resolved or resurrected with you. I feel like this is someone who is completely nervous by the fact that they distorted something and they feel like it's now or never. But they also know they're going to have to make something less complicated after making you feel unwanted, unappreciated, or just leaving something to mystery or leaving something to the imagination. This energy is tired of dealing with something on their own. This is someone who's dealing with unfamiliar situations and feelings where they 
where their careless actions put them in a very harsh space. Now someone is missing you in silence, thinking about the road to home, trying to accept a journey that has become very uncomfortable. This is someone who is drowning in pain, drowning in pain, thinking there was something bigger and better out there, and now they're blinded by the light that you once gave. This is someone who feels like they came so close, but now they're so far, all because they play mind games and games of the heart. I feel this is someone who is getting what is deserved, but I also feel there is something that is getting in the way of them making an offer to you. I feel in so many ways, time just keep slipping away. Now this energy is questioning everything after mating, what making you wait. This is someone who knows they need to find a oneness with the universe, find a respect for self to respect those around them. Hmm. Someone is also having a struggle with putting you first or recognizing your position because it's just as, as important as theirs. Someone thinks about you often and they also wonder if you think about the road back to them as well as missing you silently is definitely starting to make them uncomfortable. Let's get some final energy here from this deck. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. This is definitely a situation where it should have been uplifting. They see themselves in you in so many ways. You're so strong. This is someone who wants you to soften your heart, let your guard down. This is someone who wants you to let the love in. They're wanting to surprise you with a new energy that they're bringing. Hmm. But many of you just might see them as an enemy in disguise. Many of you had to set yourself free from a situation, but I also feel this is the very thing that caused this energy to think twice or rethink something, reconsider when it comes to how they feel or what they thought about you. But I feel in so many ways what you will encounter with this energy just might be blinding or even surprising. So for many of you, this is someone who's come to some type of euphoric state. Feeling oneness with a situation or wanting to come together with you. This is someone who took a solo path when it comes to an awakening. But this dense baggage or all of this hidden energy where they're silently contemplating how things got so deep. They're thinking about how to make things right, how to circle back to you, but they're struggling. They're struggling alone, even if this energy is communicating with others, trying to figure something out, how this can be resolved. I don't feel like many of these energies are giving them any kind of good solutions, but this is someone who knows they can never forget you, so they know they have to take a risk and come up with something. Because they can't allow time to take away more memories. As I sense, something will be unveiling when it comes to layers unfamiliar situations where something is definitely reaching a closing. Something is reaching a conclusion when it comes to someone who is struggling alone, wanting to circle back, wanting to come back around. This is someone who knows the energy you bring cannot be compared. This is someone who is wanting to take that final step and evolve and reach out, create some type of energy between the two of you. But they're also waiting for you to soften your heart. Because at this point, you putting them at a distance or letting them deal with this uncomfortable karma, it's caused them to see something from a different perspective when they were only seeing things their way. This is someone who is silently contemplating about your ride or die energy. This is someone who is contemplating about the road to home. This is someone who is also thinking about what you think of them. Mm. This is someone who is just wondering if they could ever be forgiven. After all the chaos, the trauma, the disrespect, they're wondering if you'll ever open your heart to them ever again. Final card here from this day.
So as I said before, something is definitely reaching a conclusion. This is through sudden revelation or understanding of a situation where someone is still yet to speak up or speak out. I feel this energy has yet to speak up or speak out to set the record straight out of fear and shame. This is someone who is yet to realize something when it comes to you and the energy you truly gave. It was really authentic. It was nothing fake about what was given from you. And the love that you used to have is something that can still be resurrected, but someone's going to have to snap out of it when it comes to something that is false, fake, or just cannot be relied on. And I sense if they come out of strategy and don't be transparent with you, they won't get anywhere. Hmm. Many of you will be free to step into a different type of blessing, a different type of opportunity that doesn't include them. Someone is definitely playing with fire when it comes to you. Yeah. Because of all of their selfish or destructive actions, something has definitely become distant, unrequited. All because of someone's childish ways, pushing you to love yourself. There was too much compromise. You gave a lot and they barely gave. This is someone who is wanting to reconcile with you. They see you as a soulmate. This is someone who doesn't want something to be pushed away or gone for good. They're wanting to compromise. No longer wanting to take away the innocence of a situation. Someone wants the love that you're now giving to self. The love that was once given to them. For many of you, you need this alone time, so do they, to work on self, to truly find a way to celebrate together. I feel something needs to be slowed down, especially so this energy to understand why they're attracted to you, why you're needed, and why you should be respected. But I feel this energy was so distracted and broken that they couldn't offer what you needed at the time because they were too busy hiding the truth. Now something is about to take place in divine timing when it comes to a separation or the games that were played, even the gossip within a situation. I feel something is about to be healed. Something is about to be healed when it comes to a collaboration, a love story, something that you once felt is just not for you. But I feel something fatal is about to take place. Something is about to take place that puts someone's mind back in the energy of a commitment, a true love story, a real transformation. Where someone is not just talking, but also doing the walking. Someone is definitely trying to prove that they're different, no longer the same person. This is someone who never thought that they would come crawling back, but someone is thinking that coming back to you would be the best decision that they could ever make. As they're still dealing with inner conflict, they know they also need to make the effort to apologize or just come back your way. This is someone who knows there's a soul contract or some type of deep connection with you. This could also be the energy of someone knowing that they just need to make a respectful space where there's peace between the two of you instead of a divide. Um, someone's trying to put their ego aside, their jealousy, and their foolish pride. This is someone who played a lot of games within a situation just to have the control or feel they had control. But I feel someone lost you because of these games and foolish ways of pride and ego, even jealousy. This is why someone's in conflict when it comes to making an effort to reconcile with you. I feel this is someone who was hot and cold when it comes to revealing the fact that you are a perfect match or a peaceful person or someone who just shouldn't be put to a space where you have to prove you're no one's fool, but someone is definitely in a space where they're wanting to bring something to closure when it comes to you. Someone knows they were fooled by bringing this conflict to you. They know your gift. They regret these differences, but they're also intimidated and restricted when it comes to affairs of the heart. As I said before, this is someone who is just not having problems with you. They're having problems in other areas of their life where there is no balance. 
and this is why their communication is off there's a lot of wear and tear when it comes to communication uh friendship a connection a bond or someone is longing to rush in but they feel like they're going to strike out this is why there's no end to the bullshit this is why you feel like they're obsessed with the toxic toxic things in life this is someone who deeply needs to do a little shadow work they need to do a lot to come out of this dark space many of you are just tired of being low vibrational or being around that low vibrational space it almost makes you feel like it takes a lot to wash it off but someone definitely knows without a shadow of a doubt they need to compromise or make something right with you or just leave you alone entirely because you don't deserve the disrespect. You don't deserve the discomfort and the imbalance when it comes to your peace. Let's get some more energy. Final energy here from the stack of the spirit. Final energy here. What's this card? Escapism. Hmm. So it seems like this energy could be overindulging to just to cope with what they're thinking and feeling just to get through this inner conflict, especially when it comes to past wounds. Someone knows they need a little self-care, self-love. Someone needs to put more energy into themselves to get through. Someone knows that you don't deserve the energy that is given. Someone knows that you are the key or a perfect match. Someone knows that you fit well in a situation and you were always a gift. They just never saw it. And for many of you, if they saw it, they just didn't respect it. As I said before, this is someone who is under pressure to right their wrongs, see a truth. But they also feel like it's going to be a, a miracle, a miracle to liberate themselves from something they're in an empty stage where they feel like something is too damaged there's no solid foundation because of all of their manipulation but they also feel something isn't done something is yet to be finished because they're still holding on someone knows that they can't control your heart and this is why me and you are distant or you've become a runner Running from the mess, running from the mayhem, because of the choices that someone made. Now you're opening the door to new things. You're at a distance, possibly even traveling for some of you. But there is an ending, even if this energy doesn't find the time or the moment to create some type of balance. With you. I feel like this is someone who lost their way in a big moment with you where they could have resurrected something with the fact that they were being petty or placing blame. It turned you off. In fact, if this energy comes back with that energy, it will still turn you off. This is someone who is going to have to come clean when it comes to a fantasy, an illusion, a third party situation or options that they had lined up. But I feel this is someone who knows that you should have been set as a priority or given respect in a situation, but they just wasn't ready. Someone wasn't ready to give you the energy, the respect and the loyalty that you deserved. So they gave in to the options that they thought would be more beneficial. I feel this is someone who counted you out, threw you away, or put you in a position where they thought that they could look down on you. Now it seems you just might be leading the pack. Hmm. Someone is thinking in so many ways, did they make the right decision?